PlayStation. It feels really, really weird to hear that music again. Although, to be fair, I, I've only ever heard that jingle like a few times in my entire life. Me too. Which is, which is odd. Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays, where we take a uh, video game, random video game, generally suggested by you guys, and we play the first 20 or so minutes of it. Today, we are jumping into Spyro the Dragon, which is a PlayStation classic that I have never played. Me neither. I have seriously never played Spyro the Dragon, and that's probably going to blow some people's minds, but I'm being serious. I've played a demo, and um, what's interesting is that I can actually kind of remember this music <laughs> from the demo, which is wild. I think there's an option real quick to, yeah, put this in full screen, so we'll do that. Okay, there we go. There's full screen. Let's go ahead and press start. Accessing our memory cards in our PS3. Uh, let's create a file, I guess. Um, new game. Now, it might sound weird for someone who loves video games as much as I do, who grew up with video games their entire life, to not be familiar with Spyro the Dragon. But I never had a PlayStation growing up. Ever. Uh, my first Sony system was the PlayStation 2, and I got it uh, pretty late in its oh, life. It's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Gnort character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. That does it. Oh man! Looks like I got some things to do. <laughs> I is gotta that... go get some milk. <laughs> Looks like I gotta do some chores around the house. Is that really like the beginning of the game? I don't know. Apparently, that was the. That yeah, was, it is. That was legit the beginning of the game. Okay, now this this okay. Do the do the. The sticks don't work. Was this before sticks? I can use, no, I can use, oh, the, I can't control the camera? Does this control, no, that rolls. Oh, there we go. I can control the cameras with R2 and L2. I can't use the other stick. Okay, now this is gonna be a little weird because uh, probably many of you <laughs> grew up with Spyro the Dragon. Also, I just wanted to point out, look, look where I'm at. I'm on the ground, I'm on the grass. <laughs> Do you see that weird? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I, I never had a PlayStation, so I never played this. Although I did play the demo at Kmart, and I remember really, really liking it, but I was one of those hardcore Nintendo fanboys that would never, ever switch, you know, jump ship or, or have multiple consoles. So, anyway. I rescued Nestor! Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Newark? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> okay. Now I put him in my pocket. And now Tinkerbell is there. And now you've never played Spyro either. I haven't. I had a PS2. So you you were like me. You had a PS2. Pretty early in the game. Okay. For PS2. Hi Spyro. You can save your game, replay the dragon, or get on with your life. I'll do that last option, lady. Okay, I remember you can fly, you can like headbutt stuff, and I think you can breathe fi yeah, you can breathe fire. This is really weird. I remember the <laughs> controls. You have to understand, I, I, it, it's not like I've played another Spyro title or anything. I've played this exact level. In a demo. In a demo, however many years ago Spyro came out. I don't even know, but it's probably been at least a decade. And I remembered all the controls. I even remembered you could do this. I don't think people, uh, understand like like how much I played the demo though because anytime we would go anywhere and they had the demo station set up you I, had to go play it every time. I had to go play it like uh, you know my parents would go shopping and I'd be like no 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 you you just leave me here I gotta I gotta do my thing I don't even know what I'm doing I don't even know why I need rescue these dragons can I fly to this you could I know I know I can I know I can do it this has got to be really weird to see <laughs> you know 
Spyro the Dragon being played literally for the first time. Now, I mean, I, I have played this level because of the demo, but... Fly over there, little buddy. Yes! Good job. And I got one gem. There was a single gem in that, which is weird. Okay, I should probably just... Find dragons. I should probably go through these places. I'm pretty sure that the little dragonfly that's following me is an indicator of my health, if I remember correctly. I don't. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't even know how I know this stuff. Oh, hey, this guy. You don't want him yet. You have to find all the dragons. He's a balloonist. If you prove your worth by rescuing ten dragons, you may use this balloon to fly to a new world. Okay, well, I thought that they said in like the opening cutscene or whatever that there was only twelve dragons or something. Did you catch that or not? I don't know. I just know you gotta find the dragons. I'm collecting gems right now, I'm sorry. That's not important. Oh hey, here we go. I did it! I entered Stonehill! Look at all the treasure I found that's going to add up Congratulations. to my total treasure. I don't even know what that's for. You know what's creepy? I don't think I don't think I've ever been here. I don't I remember sheep, but I don't remember those guys. I think this is new. Burn sheep! Oh, they turn into beautiful butterflies. Cute. Interesting. There's been a lot of Spyro games in the series. I have only ever played, you know, the first however long bit of the uh, of the first one. And I don't ever remember doing this, but maybe this part was in the demo. To be fair, this looks a lot like the other one, so. Can I jump in this fountain? No. Stupid game. At least I can use the... Uh, the analog stick because that would be hell if I had to use a d-pad for a 3d game got it I'm not really sure if these are like useful or not I don't even know if I should be bought ow dang it Ooh. yeah see how my guy changed colors uh-huh I'm assuming that that's what that means yay I got the head that must be an extra life Who's oh your dragon? freaking dragon yeah Astor are you the dragon? Born? After you freed <laughs> all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. Man, check out them facial animations. Spyro blinks and everything. I only had the N64. Return home. Do I want to do no. that? Are th do we know there's more dragons in here? Maybe there's only one dragon. I like that I can run, <laughs> and I like the I like the little sound it makes as I run, like. Oh God! I found another one. Stop, drop, and roll. Let's touch this guy. Lindar. Truffles. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. I felt like he didn't really get to finish his speech there. <laughs> Not that you ever need to go. Oh, I did it. Oh. They're like urns? Uh, the ashes of my ancestors. Got it. Once again, not 100% sure what these gems are for, but I'm collecting them anyway. Take this, stupid So how chef. do you get more health? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't figured that out yet. Um... Maybe touching this will give me health? Nope. Okay, bye. Bye, lady. <laughs> Ninten. Let's go over here, because it seems like... Y oh, wait. I thought that was actually a path. Did we do everything? Was there... No. Wait, really? Did we already go in this one? I have no idea. I can't remember. We went in two of them. No, oh, hey, a wizard. Here. I killed him. Oh, he's not a wizard. He's a shepherd, because that makes a lot more sense. I think my guy got more health, but I don't know what I hey. like what I did to, to do that. I rescued Gildas! Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump, and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Oh, so that's how you do the thing that I had no interest in doing. You probably have to do it from up here. Yeah, to get to something, yeah. Okay. What is it that they would probably want me to to get to? No, not there. There's... 
maybe behind where he was? Probably not, because then you deck... Ah! Backwards controls. Oh, there is stuff. There's stuff over there. There's probably nothing, like, super important. I don't know. Oops. <laughs> Whatever. I'm a man. I don't need this crap. Take this, sheepy. Man, I've You're got... You're so mean to the sheep. I am. I've got over 100 treasures. I'm taking out all these things. Look at this. I'm tearing, tearing people up. You're awful. I'm They're I'm just a little, sheep. The only thing is, I'm a little confused. Is this, like, the equivalent to the training mission? Is that, I think so. Is that what we're doing right now? Like, this is just, you know, this is how you play. You're learning how to glide. Mm -hmm. Because, <laughs> I'm going to be honest, if, if this was it, I don't understand the appeal of this series. Because it's just like, don't worry, you just got to, like, run around and stuff. Also, that sheep looks like it was straight up taken from Space Station Silicon Valley. Let's go here and return home because we went all three of those directions yeah. I can't help but feel that we have all of the dragons and they said that they would take us to a new place once we got once ten we got and, ten, and we have four. four and these guys are buttholes and I don't like them I'm gonna burn them up yeah what did that what guy do that? I don't know oh what was that like a piece of it of oh a piece of health there we go that's right my friend Argus Cool Flash, do that again. The artisan's boss has threw a portal behind me. You can challenge him now, if you feel you are ready. What? Challenge okay. him. I will challenge, challenge him. him. Excuse me, Tinkerbell. I gotta go toasty. Toasty. Confronting toasty. You found no treasure, but you have a pretty good amount of treasure. You're not actually flying, you're in front of a green screen. So this is a is this a boss battle? Sounds like it. Is but that Toasty? I hope so. Toasty. Oh god! Ah! Oh Christ! They flattened me! Stupid dogs. Stupid dog! You made me look bad! <laughs> ooga booga booga! Ugh! I'm getting out of here. See ya. I don't think those dogs can even chase me. Toasty? Ow! Toasty? The guy whacked me. I think. Yeah, I don't. I don't know where toast. Toasty. Oh God. Oh, my dragonfly's gone. That's bad. That is bad. But I did save Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. Bring I him think on. I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. Okay. <laughs> No, I didn't mean to touch that. Moving. Excuse me. Just trying to get... Toasty! Toasty! Also, I don't have any more health, so... Okay, the dog. Watch out for the dog. The dog can't be head -butted. I already figured that out a minute ago. Uh-huh. So I gotta do this. It's kind of hard to see. Bah! I'm a... I'm a sheep. Crap, 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 crap! God, the camera in this game! Ah! <laughs> I can't. <laughs> this is awful. Watch out. Watch out, Spyro. Okay, get back. That one was worth five. Yeah, the blue. It's a blue rupee. I you got him, him. Is he dead? No, he's a, a sheep. Oh, my God. <laughs> now there's three of them. Oh, God, no. See, the thing I'm worried about is now that I don't have any dragonflies, I'm... I'm I don't know if I'm just going to immediately, like, respawn, or if it's going to make me, like, go back to the beginning, beginning of no the level. Beginning, no dragons. Yeah. <laughs> All the way back. You have to do everything over. Crap. Okay, turn around. Careful. It's like, I know he's this direction somewhere. Come on, Toasty. Burn alive. Ooh, 15 rupees. Do we really know if that was Toasty? No, we don't. I think that was Toasty. I think we did it. Congratulations. Thank you. I am awesome, and I defeated Toasty myself. I really want a s'more. <laughs> that that boss made you want a s'more? Yes. Okay. Like well, a toasty marshmallow? That that sounds good, but I think those always sound good, to be completely fair. Ha <laughs> ha! Guys, burn up. Give me these. I don't like that I have to touch them. Like, you have your <laughs> dragonfly back. 
Oh, hey, that means I'm... Oh, you know what? I bet the gems are your health. Like, to a small degree. Like, I bet collecting gems improves your health, because I've seen a little evidence for that, so maybe that's how you do it. There's, like, all the comments are going to be like, No, Steven. And, and that's fine. I mean, I, I think it's... I think this is mostly going to be interesting for people that grew up with this, you know? Because there's... So many people did grow up with PlayStations and did Go grow up with, with Spyro the Dragon. So it's going to be weird, you know, knowing that I never played it. I think that's a, like a... A hedge maze? A hedge maze. Looks like it. How do I... There you go. Here? Yeah, that's right. I got me a extra life, son. I bet I there's a dragon inside. I bet there's not. Probably... Why do both red and green give you the same... Dark Hollow. That's no, where we're going. one's one and one's two. The green ones were two. I think so. Oh, I haven't. I haven't been paying much attention. <laughs> I just <laughs> know that they were small amounts, and that I need them blue ones. Okay. So this is you a little get different. Him. <laughs> Am I in like an actual level now, or maybe? Is this a level? Are they all like this? Do they all take place in fields? You dirt bag. He hit you. I lit this. Good job. It's beautiful. Am I... Am I doing something good? I, mean, I think I probably have to light them all for something to happen. If I had to guess. I you killed that frog and I, I feel kind of bad. Should I have killed the frog? Where's... I'm gonna ah, talk on the camera. The cameras are really <laughs> screwing me up. Go up the stairs. I'm going. There's more of these big old guys in here. There's a dragon. I fell. Did I kill him? He's dead. Oh, I know what happens. The dragonfly eats the butterflies when you gain health. Oh! Good eye, Mal. And now there's a bunch of people going through deleting their previous comments. Or or appending them with a reply to their own that's like, Oh, you figured it out, never mind. Okay. Where did you see the dragon? Other now? side of the circle. Yep, keep going. Excuse me, sir. You I are on fire. Ah! Did I get him? Got him. Okay, there we go. And your name is Darius. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. We already did, thank you. <laughs> yeah, what what did he expect? That we would have gotten to him before we got to the other stuff? We should, probably shouldn't go home yet. I don't right? Know. I mean, I feel like we just got here. Okay. There's probably another dragon, Mal. Go look. Because we only lit two of those campfires. Stupid frog. Let's go, let's go, oh, see, look at this, look at this, I'm a genius. He is big and angry. I'm just going to go past him, because that seems like an option. Excuse me, sir. There's a dragon. Uh, dragon, go! Oswin! I like the name Oswin. Psst, Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh. Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> That's a big secret. That's a Don't big secret. Don't tell anyone. Sorry, I really like the way that looks. Oh, a key. Freaking, hold on. <laughs> Gotta slowly turn my camera here. Oh, the days of the PS1. Can Spyro swim? No, oh, you have a key. Nope. He is like fire breathing. Oh God, that was... That was bad news, man. That took away one of my lives and everything. And I thought it actually shut down. Oh, God. Fire Shut him. up. Ooh. I think I just have to. I, I don't think you can kill those guys. I think you have to run past them. Okay, let's grab the. What do you want? A hug. <laughs> oh, give me a hug, Spyro. I'm going to get past this guy. There's a guy up there on the hill. Oh, there's something up there, and I want it so badly. Oh, and I can get it. You got a leapfrog jump. I can do this. Slowly. Careful. Because I have the key, baby. I got the key. Open that lock. It's lost some money. Congratulations. Thank you. I, I would like to thank the Academy. I lit these things 
and I'm pretty I sure was they don't matter. That's it's a shame because I'm so used to like <laughs> things matter. Well, how do you get up there, Mal? You can oh yeah, okay, sorry. You're right. I should have done this before. Ugh. Oh god, no! For the record, uh, I've been the one controlling this yeah, the entire time. Yeah, I haven't time. touched it. And uh, it is—it's kind of finicky. It's a little—it's a little hard to play. Go get the big guy. I'm going. Okay. You're flat. I think you have to flame him. No. Yeah. Okay. There's ah. See, aren't you glad we checked this out? Give me your juices, dragon. All bond. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Obviously. My but... name is Purple Mountain's Majesty Dragon. <laughs> it's very long, and I do not like my parents for naming me that. I was, Arrgh! It's after a crayon, one of the Crayola names. There's a there's a crayon called Purple Mountain Majesty Crayon. You obviously didn't color as a kid, did you? Uh, well, you, I didn't have the 64 pack, Mrs. Rich. My parents got me the eight pack, and I was I was lucky. If we had the Crayolas, we used the Rose Art. And that crap sucks. That's not even comparable. It's like they made it with earwax. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we return home. We have nine dragons. You need one more. One more dragon. We were one away from 300, which probably doesn't matter. Dang it. Okay, so we did Dark Hollow. We did the one that was near the entrance. But we've barely explored this area. Oh, there's, there's one. There's one just freaking chilling. What up, dude? Delbin! Hey, man. Long time no see. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. That really wasn't that helpful. Really, I mean, pay attention to the dragonfly is not as helpful as... He is your health indicator. But I guess they didn't want to break the fourth wall or something. What sounds magical? Sparks. Is it sparks? I don't know. Look to the right. Sounds like there's something behind this wall, but I think that's a little too clever for this game. <laughs> All right, let's, um, we have ten. Yeah. Um, Why don't you leave and use the balloon? I think I have to. I think there's, n I don't think there's anything even okay. around left to look at. Like, we've already been through all of that, that crap. Go to the balloon. And the balloon was... Through one of the doors. It was this door, I think. I'm almost positive. Yep. Am I right? Mm hmm This this area right here, just the scenery of it, reminds me heavily of Diddy Kong Racing for some mm -hmm. reason. I don't know why. Anyway. Hi, buddy. Hi, Marco. Well done, Spyro. I didn't think you could do it because I don't have faith in you. You could travel to the Peacekeepers world. Go to Peacekeepers. Is it a peaceful land? I hope so. Full of lots of sheep that try to attack you? If I can fly and I've flown to every other world, why do I need to take an air balloon? Because it's a very long trip. <laughs> you could get tired. And you'd fall in the ocean. We already know what happens when Spyro gets wet. Yes, that's true. I'm a little confused to see if like, the game is like this. but Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. What's up with we this cover stomach? our treasure, Spyro. <laughs> Collect treasure. Got it. Okay, cool. we saved we saved another dragon. The only thing is, I, like, the thing that we just completed was probably the tutorial world, and it's oh hey, you're still alive. Now, ha! That guy's trying to trick me. So, so are all of the? I guess they're all kind of like this. It's like uh, I don't. Know, it's kind of hard to explain. You you Ooh. come into this large overworld-ish area. And then you take little warps to smaller areas. Eat them, Sparks. Eat them. Sparks is yellow currently. Is yellow the good one? Yes. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to go past you. Excuse me. Dry Canyon! All right. Well, I think I kind of get the gist of the game. Yeah. You go into this large overworld area, 
where there are dragon statues. They transport you to smaller areas where there are dragon statues. And there's a boss somewhere. And there's a boss somewhere, and you have to save the dragon statues. Hooray! I, I get it. Okay. I think I, I think I finally understand. Oh, this is their dispensers! And then once you get them, they explode, so they're not very good dispensers. <laughs> What's this do? Oh, you I charge it. the cactus. Let's uh, grab this thing. Conan! O'Brien! Thank you for releasing me! <laughs> I have welcome. no secrets for you! Alright, now before we uh, completely stop this first 20, I'm actually going to let Mal control it for a bit, because Mal's never actually played Spyro the Dragon. Okay, so what's jump? X is jump, square is charge, um, circle is fire, and... How do I glide? Uh, once you jump in the air, press jump again, and you glide. And you can also charge once you're gliding in the air, and you'll, like, come down hard and charge them. Okay. It's pretty, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. And it, the game doesn't seem very difficult. Maybe it gets more difficult as time goes on. Uh, and I don't even know how many worlds there are in this game. I mean, if I don't think the training level is a good indication of how long the game is. But just from coming into this second world, the Peacekeepers, it seems like it's kind of Ooh. similar length. I would just charge past these guys. So, I don't know. It took us like 25 minutes to beat the uh, training world completely. The game's probably only a few hours long. Maybe five at most. We'll have that to get the Spyro? commenters to tell us, though. Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you're a wee puff of smoke, we've known... Uh... You've known? Ah, uh, I forget. <laughs> Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke. That was cute. That was cute. I liked that. That was nice. Oh, there's something fun, fun looking up there. Ow, birds. Ow. Uh-oh, I think you got... You got cremated. <laughs> I did. Well, you got flattened, but then presumably off screen. You you were cremated. What what are those? They're birds of some sort? Yes. <laughs> oh, you found out you can do your rolls. I'm assuming that those are useful at, like at some point. They're like vultures, Steven. Oh, okay. Do you see that, yeah, that red, yellow, green thing up there? I don't think I think you have to go around the other way to get to it. But I think I can do it. Just you're gonna. I don't think you can jump from there. Oh. Yeah, I think you have to go. Well, other. Well, I don't know. Try. Did you try going into the center thing? Wasn't there like a room or something to go in? That thing's gonna peck your face off. There I you got go. him. Oh, you can climb that mountain. Okay. There. I could have told you <laughs> that you were not going to make that jump. Spyro can only jump like okay, two, this room? two feet in the air. What? No. No, 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 no. Go outside. Go outside. Go to the left. And then keep going left. And around the backside of this mountain area, there was a thing you could climb. I think that's how you get up there. See it? No. Up I there. know. I'm okay. busy. Yeah, jump up there and then climb up and around. Because I'm pretty sure that you could maybe fly to that whatever that pretty thing was. It was pretty. Okay. Now, you can you should be able to fly over there. Yeah, buddy, what is that thing? Okay, that seems bad. They were fireworks. Yeah, but I th I think they hurt you. Do it from far away. Oh man. So cute. So it's like They'll give you a treasure, but at the risk of killing you. And there's more stuff over here. Head down that. Head down. Ow! You're, you don't have your guy anymore, so be careful. Wee! And you're home. So you got a chance to try Spyro. It was fun. It's a PlayStation game. Yeah. It's it's dated. Um. And I don't even know what the what the newer games are like. But there you go. I have officially tried, we have both tried, and have gotten a chance to experience Spyro the Dragon. And I think I, I kind of get the formula. Overworld, smaller levels, um, collecting lots of gems, uh, saving all the dragons.
Hooray. I don't know, and uh, I don't know how long the game is, but if I had to guess, it seems like it'd be, you know, five hours. Pretty short game, all in all. But it became a uh, super popular series. This game sold exceedingly well. So I can only... Does this take us back, or is this a new guy? He's new. The Magic no Crafters. Old. If you find... Tw oh, so now you need the treasure. Interesting. So, that, so you have to have the treasure, too. So you have to collect all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, that is actually going to be it for First 20. Uh, thank you all so, uh, so much for joining us. Please continue to recommend uh, more games down below, games that you would like to see uh, Mal and I trudge through. Um, we have a, a pretty big collection of games to choose from. Feel free to mention any from any system. Kiwi Craze. Kiwi Craze. <laughs> for the NES. The Kirby ripoff. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> Just recommend stuff. We'll uh, we'll take a look at it, and uh, we do them the last Friday of every single month. So we'll see you guys back here next month for another first twenty. And I have to say, Spyro the Dragon is actually pretty fun. I'm a little disappointed that it was not a part of my childhood.